Hello, this is my review of the R30134 LMS Princess Royal Class, the Turbo Motive 462 number 6202. Let's get it out of, its, out of the packaging. It's nice that they put it in a plastic bag so it doesn't get wet. Well, this is apparently this is Hornby's new packaging, new box. Now this is the old packaging style, this one's slightly bigger, as you can see this is the LMS Royal Class Princess Victoria and this is the also an LMS Princess Royal Class but this is the Turbo Motive. This is number 6202 and that's 6205. So let's see what the differences are. Well you can see like they put the drawing on the side here but on it's the on the back so it's this and also the writing is on the side and that's what it is R30134 LMS Princess Royal Class the turbo motor 462 number 6202 and there's a nice white line drawing of it there there's two line drawings one in white and one in grey Now a slightly different, it's a coupling rod, you've just got one there, but it's got about three here and all that system there, but there's none there. Let's get it out of the box. Got this nice black foam here, nice foam inside. Don't think there's anything else, nothing hidden. Seems to be in a bit of colour, tells you that the operating maintenance instructions, general running hints, we've all seen this like a zillion times before. Oh look, it's, it's got accessories, it's got two men in it, which is good, always nice to see putting men in it. You can put a lamp on the front if you want, without putting wires together, and shows you how you can open it and put a chip in if you want to. It seems to have a rear lamp on it as well. To toggle the rear lamp off the tender on off, tap both sides of the tender similarly using your index finger and thumb as shown in. So you've got to like squeeze the tender to turn the rear lamp on and off. The rear lamp will change colour with the directions of travel. Red with the locomotive is travelling forwards and white when travelling backwards. Quite heavy here. This is a spare bag. You can see two men in there both painted got a spare wheel there got some ladders there a coupling there an underframe there this is quite heavy very nice that's your rear lamp on the back there i hope it's got i don't know if those are working lamps at the front it's got spring buffers both back and front let me see if i can put the men inside a cab. This is up close and personal. I tried to fit, I don't know how well you can see that, that front light onto the front there, but it broke off. So I'm just leaving it as it is. As I said, it's got sprung buffers. I've had a go, I don't know how well you can see again. But I've glued the two men in the cab there. Sprung buffers at the back. Very good detail all over. It's got very different coupling rods there. That's a tender. Got the coal there. That's where the water goes in. Metal whistles there. I think the, the plate is metal. Let's take it down to the test track. JJ's test track. Right, I'm now on my test track and let's see how this goes. Let's 
do this in the dark because I've noticed it's got lights on the front. Let's go backwards anyway. <laughs> front and going backwards let's go from the backwards Check out that firebox good glow. Don't know how well you can see that. The firebox glow just there. Well that's the light test done. So you can now see all the lights on the logo. It's got white going forwards and then goes red going backwards. Let's go upstairs now to my main MMR. Welcome to the Midland Montal Model Railway. The Triple MR for sure. Right, back on my main circuit on my uh, Triple MR. Let's do a few laps just to show you what it looks like. I've got both the princesses. Then we've got the light on the front. One more lap. Quick review of the turbo motor for the LMS Princess Royal class. I hoped you liked it. I think I'll call it a day there. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Take care. Bye.